My name is Daniel Maria Asante and I'm from Ghana. I am studying MSc Computer Science at Burbank. So with Computer Science, there are about eight modules in it, one being the MSc project work and seven being the modules you are supposed to take. But out of the seven, we have uh, one optional and um, the other six, they are compulsory for you to take. I enjoyed my optional course more, which was information and network security, um, because even though I was learning for the degree, it's also made me more, more conscious about security in my lifestyle and how I should go about my daily lives because you can be doing something that feels normal to you, but then a third party might find a loophole and will leverage that into attacking you. So that was the part of information security I did enjoy because now I wouldn't just leave my maybe my password for several sites. I'll just maybe use one or blah, 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 because of what I learned from there. So that was my favorite module, yeah. And the more challenging ones are where you need to think as a programmer, like principles of programming one, principles of programming two, and software design, yeah. With principle of programming one, it was more about learning the Python language and you could learn the syntax is one thing, and knowing the semantics is another. So learning the syntax is quite easy to do, but trying to apply the syntax to a question is where the challenge comes in. I remember sometimes I could take three, in the initial part when I uh, started learning, I could take three or four days just on one simple question. But then the fun thing is that as you solve more questions, you realize Things that took you three days were very simple, but then it was your thinking that was inhibiting you from solving them in time or on time. Yeah, and um, I think this course has shaped my thinking as a programmer and has made me smart. <laughs> Let me just say that way. Computer science can make you very smart because it lets you see things from all aspects. As a programmer, you have to see things from all aspects because if you don't see things from all aspects, you cannot. Um, satisfy the consumers, which are your users. Yeah, so that's something I like. Before I came to uni, I enrolled on a course offered by Bebrick where you don't have to pay anything, but just let them know you could do it and they'll get back to you with the response. It's like enrolling on your MSE. So over there, I was being taught how to prepare for my master's, how to write your dissertations, plagiarisms, how to learn as a student. And let's say if you've been away from education for long, they guide you as to how you can plan your learning. And these were very resourceful to me now because I may not stay away from education for long like um, 10 years or five years, but even a year gap, I found it useful because it was kind of a refresher to me.